I've had a passion for soil health and range conditions all my life. If we don't maintain the grasslands in a healthy manner and leave them better than we found them, there just won't be anything for our grandchildren and for future generations. I feel a connection to this landscape. You know, when I travel as much as I do, when I pull back in here and cross the cattle guard, I feel like I'm home. It's just a warm feeling that the efforts that we've put forth have been worth our time. We own and operate the San Pablo Ranch here in eastern Torrance County and western Guadalupe County in New Mexico. The name San Pablo was given to this ranch by Mariano Mendoza, who was the original settler here in 1876. We call it the Berlier Ranch too, but it's also known as the San Pablo Ranch and around the neighboring area here, everybody knows where the San Pablo is. My uncle Theo Berlier, his great uncle, came here in 1937. I asked Theo one time, how many cattle did you run on this place? He said, oh, hell, I never did know. I just stick them in there till their tails hung over the fence. And therefore, they grazed it all. They just thought if you let a blade of grass go unharvested, that it was wasteful. I feel sustainability is the key to what we're doing here. Sustainability to me means that you can harvest this grass without doing any harm to the ecosystem. When you have a healthy plant community, you can provide more of the diet requirements for livestock from forage longer through the year and you don't have to supplemental feed as much. For ranchers, that's really one of the big output costs on their operation is having to provide supplemental feed. New Mexico has really been at the forefront of the conservation movement. We are such a fragile climate here. We're really ranching in the desert. You're not going to farm this country out here. It's too arid, too dry, can't afford to pump the water on it. But I'll tell you what, we can run cows on it and do a good job managing those. And really it raises the production level of a ranch when you start to manage them with more of a conservative thought. One of the things that got me involved in this conservation effort, I lost my son in a car wreck. It changed Jimmy, and not for the good. I was losing my mind as well as losing my son, and a good friend of mine, Kyle Sharp, decided to start dragging me to soil and water conservation meetings, and that's one way I got more involved and more active in this effort. I do think that that was a huge part of the healing. He's very passionate and he's made a difference. What Jimmy is doing here on this ranch is impacting what the neighbors are doing on their ranch. What Jimmy's doing in lending his time and knowledge to go to these different meetings, the Soil and Water Conservation District meetings, our cattle grower meetings, and, and being willing to share that knowledge, it's impacting some. It's making a difference here in New Mexico in this ranching community. When we first came here and took over, my dad and I, there was bare soil all over the place and erosion. And now we've got such a healthy plant community that when it rains, we don't have runoff like we used to. You don't get to tell Mother Nature when to rain. The one thing that you can influence one thing that you can manage is the plants. A rancher is really a grass farmer, and they're using their livestock to harvest their crop. If I'm not a steward of the land, if I don't take care of that land, I'm not going to be around here for long. I'm not going to be, certainly not in the ranching business.
I guess you'd say in the older generation, Theo's generation, people didn't think much about sustainability. They were just here to harvest every blade of grass that grew and thought that was the best way to maximize their profits. But as time went on, they overgrazed this land and ate up all the cool season grasses. Now by letting it rest, we've had a lot of the cool season grasses come back. We're able to utilize that to the best of our ability and grow more beef than we did back when it was overgrazed. He's proud of what he's done here. He's walked the walk. He did it. He put the boots on the ground and went out there and did the work. And consequently, I know good and well that the wildlife habitat has improved on this ranch. The carrying capacity has improved on this ranch. And the long-term sustainability of this ranch has been improved. Jim has a very creative mind and he's got a lot of good ideas. He wants to leave something behind. And I'm not talking about financial gain. I'm talking about a way of life Something that is very tangible that you can see. I never did even consider spreading the word about it. I was just doing it for myself and didn't even know the avenues to spread the word. But I became more and more involved and dedicated my service to the memory of my son. I definitely think open space is healthy and healing. It's just a beautiful way of life to be able to come out here and enjoy Mother Nature and what it provides for us.